Hey everybody, Awesome Gamer here. Today we're going to be telling a little story that I have prepared uh, about a net that I was camping with my friend out in his backyard. Um, he was, uh, so he and I were in the backyard with my brother. It was just us three. We were in this tent. The door's broken, like the zipper's broken. So for the first hour, we're just talking, right? We're just we're just talking. I'm not gonna like say any names in this video. Um, but we're just talking, and we eat dinner there and everything, and then we go out into the tent. He, uh, there, uh, he's like looking for something on his phone because he wants to show me a funny picture. Then he comes across these pictures that his girlfriend sent him in air quotes. Um, she, she just sent him a bunch of random memes and a couple of pictures of herself. If that's even her, I think it might just be some random girl that this guy found on the internet because she refuses to video chat with him. And when she does get the chance, she comes up with some random excuse. So, um, he's he starts he tells me it's hard not seeing his girlfriend. I'm like, whatever, man. I don't I don't really know. I really don't care. And we're like sitting there, we're just talking, and then five minutes, five, twenty minutes later, or like fifteen, twenty minutes later, something like that, um, we're in the middle of talking, my brother and I were, at least, and he's, he starts, like, he has his hands on his eyes, and it sounds like he's choking on something, so I look over, it, his face is red, and there's like water coming on, that's on his face, and he is legitimately crying like he's bawling his eyes out over the fact that he can't see his girlfriend he's complaining about how it's hard not seeing his girlfriend so i just put in my put on my headphones and ignore him but he starts kind of getting crazy because he has adhd he's not exactly the most calm person in the world you know and he starts going a little crazy so i said in the morning i'm probably just gonna head uh head home because i want to like do the chores and feed our dogs and stuff and uh, he and he interprets this as I just want to have my own breakfast at my own house, which I'm fine with. I really don't care if I, if he doesn't want me to have breakfast at my own house, then that's his problem. Um, but like I said, he's not the most intelligent. He's also got ADHD, so and ADD. But he's so he's bawling his eyes out, and then and after he finishes crying, he's completely happy after this. And he starts, uh, he starts talking, he's looking through the pictures again as if nothing ever happened. And, uh, sand spider's on his arm, right? So we kill it, we use a shoe, and we keep checking on it every now and again to make sure that it's actually dead. So, they go to sleep, I'm playing Geometry Dash and stuff, that's not where this footage came from, this footage just kinda came from about 20 minutes ago. Um, but, so we go to, we decide we wanna go to sleep. And I wake up and there's something like in the, my shirt, so you know, like that feeling when it, like there's a leaf on your on your skin or something, and it's like being pressed up against it. Feels like that, so I think it's some sort of beetle or something. I grab it with like f with my shirt. I'm not touching it with my fingers or anything. Like uh, like I pinch my shirt where it is and grab it just in case it's a beetle or a tick or something. I open up my shirt and I drop it out, and out comes a spider the size of my palm. It felt like a little tick. It literally, it legitimately felt like some sort of little beetle, like those June bugs that you, that you always like see at nighttime, like at least where I am, you always do. But out falls a spider the size of my palm. Like I don't even, it looked like the sand spider from last night, but the sand spider was still in the corner. This is at 4:30 in the morning. I'm the only person awake. I'm, I sit there for like half an hour after killing this thing 12 times. I legitimately had to kill this thing 12 times. I had cut it in like several pieces by that point it had already been cut into several pieces okay um so just that kind of creeped me out i had to like i got rid of most of the body except for like the main part um and it's just sitting there so i i wait for them to wake up i tell them i'm gonna leave now and that i have to go feed the dogs and stuff so when I go tell the dog, like I go out and go over there, everybody's asleep in our house. So I'm staying, so I'm sitting outside. I'm playing, I'm playing on the computer and stuff, and I'm like on the internet because I didn't have internet over at his house. Um, so I walked for like five minutes to get over there because we're right, like right across the street. But um, he uh, he follows over and they're like mocking me because they they still say that I said what I, uh, they're still saying what they thought I said last night. 
for like what I'm th they thought what they thought I meant. I can't even speak today, but um. So they're walking over, making like they're making jokes about it, and I'm like I'm think I'm thinking if they want to make fun of me, that's fine. I really don't care. And then they get over there and they continue it, and then they start mocking me directly in front of me like it's some sort of joke. So I'm getting kind of mad at that point. I'm I'm not like I'm not too mad. I don't tell them or anything. My brother's in here, but he's just like watching what I'm doing. Um, but so I'm getting kind of mad. I'm waiting for my friend to go home. He goes, he goes home and eats breakfast, and I'm still sitting outside. We eventually knock and go inside, and he helps us put all our stuff in there. And we told him that we might come back out. Our mom tells us that we can't go back out after he leaves. So we're we're inside, and he texts me for he legitimately is texting me for the next 15 minutes, and then he texts me half an hour after those 15 minutes, saying, "I assume you guys you guys were not coming out because he can't spell." He thinks R is spelled O R, so he's he's like I I guessing I guess you guys or not come out, um, and I just ignore his text because I'm not like I don't like texting people like that like I don't I like tech I don't like texting him just in particular because when I text him the conversation legitimately goes on for 15 20 minutes and I don't like having conversations that long especially not over the internet, um. So, we're like sitting, we're, I, I keep getting texts, I get in the shower, and um, I'm still getting texts while I'm in the shower from him, so when, I'm just getting annoyed at this point, so I just, I just ignore him, and he eventually gets the point, I guess, but my brother, my brother was like, when, when he first got over there, he told me that I was uh, being kind of a jerk when I left, but uh, then when we get inside, he's like, uh, like, after I get out of the shower, he's like, yeah, I can understand why you wanted to leave. He was kind of getting hyper when you left and everything and that he was making fun of me. So I just, I haven't hung out with him since then, like at all. I, I spoke to him, but that was, that was just for a little bit. And then I went inside again, uh, cause we were hanging out outside, messing around with Nerf guns and stuff. And he walks out and he like takes the stuff that I'm using because he wants to use it and doesn't give it back. So I'm just, I'm, I just sitting there waiting for him to give it back. So we just go around, we go around to our backyard, like the non-fenced off area, because not even a quarter of our backyard is fenced off. But, um, we're, we're just back there. We're just hanging. We're just chilling. Um, and then <clears throat> our friend, like our other, well, I say friend, but that's a very loose term. He thinks, he used to think that we still like him. He's very annoying. He's tried to get me to do some stuff that I'm not supposed to do. So I don't talk to him anymore. <clears throat> but you know whatever uh he's trying to get us to come to his backyard and stuff and uh he gets the picture now after that morning because we're just telling him to go away or well he says as soon as as soon as he goes inside we run inside like the kid who i was at the sleepover with in the backyard so uh, we're just waiting. Uh, we're just waiting for the, him to close his door so we can go inside. He th literally picks up a sledgehammer and throws it across his yard. It's one of those tiny sledgehammers, like the small ones. But he throws it across his yard, almost over his fence. And then we walk by to see, like, to check on him. We look through the fence, and he's like banging it against the fence while we're looking through. So he doesn't realize we're there. He's just banging it against the fence and. So we just went inside. He, my, the kid who I was in the tent with, just he goes in to eat dinner. We go into, like this happens over the course of two days. Like I said, this story, but um, and my other friend that I was with, the one that was like brought out a couple of Nerf things so we could use them. Uh, we just go inside and we hang for a little bit, but I just like I just thought that was kind of a creepy two days, cause like one of my friends was acting like he wanted to kill me ex-friends at least then i wake up with a spider and my other friend is bawling his eyes out over a girl that he's never even seen and he's not and i'm not even sure if it's a girl i just thought it was kind of crazy um i don't know what you guys think and just so you guys know here's a little spoiler i don't finish the level that i'm playing in this video so just a little heads up thought i'd tell you guys um like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i will see you all next time peace out